export shipment in india door to on board niku who wants to export coconut products from india is confused trade documentation may look lengthy and confusing to a new entrepreneur to help her out we shall explain to niku the various steps in an export shipment from india we shall proceed step by step freight forwarder get in touch with a freight forwarder freight forwarders are like ticketing agents for cargo shipments the mode of shipment of the cargo can be sea air land or even multimodal the freight rate is provided by the relevant freight forwarder based on the mode of shipment destination port and the volume of the shipment pro forma invoice niku needs to send a pro forma invoice to the buyer after the initial discussion with the buyer it provides an idea about the prices quality quantity and description of the goods to be exported it also lays out the method of payment mode of transportation process of packing goods packing material to be used etc commercial invoice ci commercial invoice is equivalent to any seller's bill for the merchandise sold commercial invoice should be prepared by nikhu after the confirmation of the export order ad code registration before filing any export shipping bill nikku or the chas are required to register with the customs their ie code and authorized dealer code number of the bank through which export proceeds are to be realized ad code registration is at the port of shipment by the exporter after issuance of iec from dgft shipping instructions depending on the nature of the goods it has to be shipped under specific instructions some goods could be perishable flammable corrosive biohazardous toxic pathogenic or allergenic so they have to be shipped under appropriate safety instructions as per various international conventions like hazmat iata fiata solas etc shipping instruction is furnished by the freight forwarder after they are apprised of the various aspects of shipment packing list pl packing list contains item wise list of the package contents it serves to inform all parties like transport agencies government authorities and the buyer about the contents of the package the same is referred to in case the customs authorities inspect the content of a shipment shipping bill the custom house agent cha will issue a sample shipping bill after receiving the commercial invoice ci the packing list pl and other documents after approval the cha will file the shipping bill with the customs department of the port concerned while niku can file the shipping bill herself using icegae portal of customs she may use the services of a cha the authorized custom house agents while starting out the business the assessing officer in the export department checks the details provided and the exportability of goods under the foreign trade policy and other laws in force after the let export order is given by the customs officer the shipping bill is generated by the system in two copies that is one customs copy 
one exporter's copy. There is a third copy that is the EP copy which is generated later after submission of the Export General Manifest EGM. We shall discuss them in detail later. Stuffing or loading of goods in containers. The exporter or his agent should hand over the exporter a copy of the shipping bill duly permitting let export to the steamer agent who may then approach the proper officer, preventive officer for allowing the shipment. The stuffing of the container at the dock is done under preventive supervision of the customs. Bill of Lading The word lading is derived from an old English word and simply means loading. Bill of Lading is issued by the carrier vessel after the goods are loaded. It specifies the details of the shipment and the title of ownership of the goods which would depend on the INCO terms, etc. Bill of Lading is the most important document for NICO as she has to give it to the buyer for her goods so that the buyer may claim the goods once they reach his place. Export General Manifest Once the ship sails away, shipping lines or its agents furnish the Export General Manifest to the customs within seven days from the date of sailing of the vessel. EGM contains the list of all items that were loaded or were present on the ship while it sailed from the port. The EGM is the final confirmation of the physical export of the goods. Only post-issue of EGM would the customs consider the sanction of the drawback claims made against the export shipment. We will discuss about drawback claims in further videos. The above is the general procedure for export. An important point to note here is that more augmented procedures exist for specified schemes. Details regarding the same can be got by referring to public notice and orders issued by the DGFT and Customs Commissioner Rates.